Gabrielle Union has enjoyed a successful career as an actress and entertainer. In recent years, she's continued to add to her resume, all while ticking people off at the same damn time. <laughs> From several celebrity beefs to annoying and controversial comments, there are so many reasons why people just can't stand her. Before we jump into today's video, I feel like eating some snacks. Eating some snacks. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. I need jerky in my mouth. Eat it up, eat, eat it up. I'm in the mood for RRG snacks. We go for up some snacks. Cuff me to some of that bacon jerky, girl, okay? And I bet you in the mood for some, too. So head on over to rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, gummy sour bears, and blue raspberry licorice. Get in my belly. In 2015, Gabrielle's husband, Dwayne Wade, was chosen as an NBA All-Star, an honor that's selected by fans, players, and the media. But there was one person who thought it was a terrible, terrible decision. And that person was none other than Charles Barkley. Although Charles now works as an analyst and giving his opinion is his job, Gabrielle wasn't having it. She hopped on Twitter to give him a piece of her mind. Oh, this is getting messy. In a tweet, Gabrielle wrote that Charles' opinion wasn't valid because he's never won an NBA championship. Oh, ooh, them fighting words. She compared the situation to her talking about Meryl Streep's acting capabilities without having won any awards herself. Well, Charles is one bear you definitely don't want to poke. First of all, I don't ever mention you and Meryl Streep in the same sentence. She I mean, said no. Meryl Streep would never be on Snakes on a Plane or Medea. She wasn't on the She wasn't on Snakes. Well, she could have been. She wasn't on Snakes I've, on I've seen her act. She could be on Snakes oh, on a Plane or Medea. <laughs> Dang, dog. That should have been the end of the discussion, but Gabrielle wasn't finished. During an appearance on Late Night with Seth Meyers, she alluded to Charles not being very sharp, since he missed the entire point of her Meryl Streep tweet. She also said Charles is the type of person who wants to dominate the conversation without having all the facts. I have also have, have uh, formed a prayer group circle okay, for him. Gotcha. So That's very nice. He'll be fine. <laughs> she done lost her mind. Even Dwayne's fans thought Gabrielle was going too far to defend her man against someone who was just speaking his mind and doing his job. In 2019, after being fired as a judge on America's Got Talent, Gabrielle filed a lawsuit against the show and the network for misconduct and racial discrimination. In her lawsuit, she named Simon Cowell as a person who created a hostile working environment where racial and gender-based discrimination were the norm. Gabrielle also claimed she was told her hairstyles were too black for the show. Simon owns the show and was given creative control over the program by NBC. On an episode of The Daily Show, Gabrielle stated that Simon didn't believe the rules applied to him. She said he flaunted his power in front of everyone, including his tendency to expose his co-workers to secondhand smoke inside the theater. Oh, hell no. Gabrielle told the execs she was allergic to cigarette smoke, but the execs allegedly told her that no one could stop Simon. Even the damn fire marshal tried to get him to quit. Let me tell you something. But he wouldn't listen. Yep. He addicted, addicted. Yeah, he addicted. Bad. Multiple sources at the show came to his defense and stated Simon found Gabrielle to be difficult to work with. They stated Gabrielle was a diva behind the scenes and she was constantly complaining. They also said she shouldn't have been bothered by the smoke in his dressing room because there was a big wall between them that prevented the smoke from reaching her. Stop lying. Um, apparently they didn't get the memo. Secondhand smoke doesn't respect boundaries, and it can seep through light fixtures, electric outlets, ceilings, walls, and doorways. But anyway. Producers were also reportedly annoyed by Gabrielle's habit of asking contestants dressed in drag what their preferred pronouns were. Why y'all mad about that? <laughs> Eventually, Gabrielle settled the lawsuit for an undisclosed amount, and they all went their separate ways. After all that drama, we're pretty sure Simon and Gabrielle will never work with each other ever again. Okay. 
When Gabrielle and Dwayne announced that his daughter Zaya was transitioning in 2020, Boosie popped all the way off. It got real ugly real fast. Gabrielle tried to take the high road, but after Boosie kept going on and on and on, Gabrielle turned into Mama Bear and read him for filth. Ooh, tell me all about it, girl. While speaking to Jamil Hill in 2021, Gabrielle hit Boosie where it hurt by implying he must be in the closet since he was always worried about people in the LGBTQ community. <laughs> it took Boosie about a year to find out what she had said, but child, when he found out, he said it. Off. He posted on Twitter that everybody knew he loved women. And instead, it was Gabrielle's husband, Dwayne, who was on the down low. And how would he know? <laughs> okay. Lucy concluded by telling Gabrielle to go wait for her next role and then referred to her as Lil' White Girl. This ninja crazy. I've never actually heard that Dwayne Wade is gay. Have you actually heard it before? I've heard it on, I heard it on, you know, social media comments. But yeah, you know. Ain't nobody never come tell me he was gay. He wasn't done, though. He then posted that Gabrielle better leave him alone, and she had no business challenging a ghetto hero's manhood. And then a few months later, he went on Vlad TV and called Gabrielle a hypocrite, since she claimed to be an ally of the LGBTQ community, yet she was involved in her own form of gay bashing by making false allegations against him. Are you gay bashing? <laughs> You're a hypocrite. Child, this so twisted. Boosie told her to go look in the mirror because all he had been doing was keeping it real. But if she wanted the smoke, she could most definitely get it. Nah, she allergic to smoke, remember? <laughs> <laughs> One thing about Gabrielle, honey, she's always gonna give legs and hips and body, body. However, some people are tired of seeing her round brown clappers all over the internet. All over the internet, girl. During the summer of 2023, Gabrielle, who was 50 at the time, was posing all over the gram in her thong, the thong, thong, thong. <laughs> One commenter stated she was old enough to be a grandma and had no business posting her assets all over the internet. Sit your ass down somewhere. Gabrielle continued to prove she was unbothered by attending Beyonce's Renaissance tour in a sheer silver dress that exposed her undergarments. Social media users tore her to shreds, saying once again that she's too old to be dressing like that. Some people even threatened to unfollow her if she didn't start wearing classier attire. Child, let Gen X live long. Do you think Gabrielle decided to make some changes by switching up her wardrobe? <laughs> Not a chance. While appearing on the Who, What, Where with Hillary Kerr podcast, Gabrielle doubled down on her desire to show her cakes. She added that she would continue to show her cheeks until her butt falls off. And she threatened everyone that she might even pose face down, ass up in her casket one day. <laughs> I know that's right, girl. She continues to do what she wants, all while oversharing the intimate details about her marriage. During an appearance on Watch What Happens Live, she described her marriage as yummy, mysterious, and honest. Girl, stop lying. She went on to reveal that her favorite pet name for Dwayne is Poopy. Poopy. Many people thought it was an innocent little pet name, up until Gabrielle revealed during a 2017 appearance on Sway in the Morning that she has explored Dwayne's Hershey Highway. What in the boo-boo is going on here? Once people started bashing her for talking about Dwayne's personal business, Gabrielle took to her Twitter to state she was only using humor to make a point about sexual reciprocity. Apparently, her joke fell flat because no one was laughing. <laughs> Do you think Gabrielle deserves all the backlash she has received? Or are people too uptight these days? Let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.